بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم Hi everyone In the next 20 minutes I will talk about the anatomic variants of the liver overview الحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم أجمعين No disclosure My learning objectives to review some of the morphologic hepatic variants of the liver and to review some of the arterial, venous, and biliary variants of the liver and to review some of the liver pseudo lesions. Awareness of these variants will aid the radiologist to make more accurate analysis for the sake of the patient and the surgeons. I will talk about these variants. Morphologic variants, beaver tail liver or sliver of the liver. It is a common variant and it is a left lateral extension of the left lobe of the liver wrapping around the lateral aspect of the spleen, maybe anterior, maybe posterior, maybe lateral and medial, and should not be confused with the perispleenic or perigastric pathology. Here, as we see the beaver tail liver in multiple examples with lateral extension of the left lobe of the liver around the spleen, and can be anterior, can be medial, and even posterior. Radal's lobe, uh, it is described in 1888 as tongue-like projection, and it is common anatomic variants more in females, and it is projected, this tongue-like projection projected beyond the inferior costal cartilage, and in the cross-sectional imaging. And it is, should not be confused with the mass lesion and can be complicated by torsion with gangrenous changes. But it is usually asymptomatic and discovered incidentally. Multiple patients in the blame film and the CT scan, inferior extension of the uh, of the tongue-like projection below the costal margin, as we see here. Babillary process of the caudate lobe, as you, you know, caudate lobe of the liver extended from the, medially from the right lobe between the inferior vena cava and the ligamentum venosum, and occasionally has two processes, the anterior one which extend anteriorly to reach the lesser sac and the posterior caudate process. And here in this patient, we have the patient has anterior babillary process extended to the lesser sac. And here we have medial extension of the caudate lobe, giving the appearance of pseudomass lesion. The liver has two two fissures, falciform and ligamentum venosum, and also may contain accessory or pseudo-accessory fissure. However, two accessory fissures are rare, and the most common important one is inferior accessory fissure, which divides the posterior segment of the right lobe to a medial and lateral portion. And here, patient with pseudo-accessory fissure of the liver due to invagination of the diaphragm and the superior aspect of the liver, seen in the, these coronal and sagittal reformatted images. The diaphragmatic sl slips or diaphragmatic slings, it is infolding of the diaphragm that indent the normal smooth contour of the liver and this invagination of the diaphragmatic muscles with increased frequency after the age of 60 years and should not be mistaken with liver masses or diaphragmatic masses. Here are two patients with diaphragmatic 
invagination as we see here and here in this axial cuts. Here, this patient has a lateral accessory fissure too. Accessory fissure is due to inward infolding of the of the peritoneum to the liver surface into the liver surface. Vascular variants. The hepatic artery has variable anatomy and it is in a classic form. About 55% the right hepatic artery arise after the branch from the bulbar hepatic artery that is a continuation of common hepatic artery arises from the celiac axis. In about 10% of individual, the left hepatic artery arises from branch of left gastric artery. And in about 11% of individuals, the right hepatic artery arises from superior mesenteric artery. And here, this is the Michele classification of the arterial system of the liver. Here, patient with the replaced left hepatic artery arises. This is the left hepatic artery in the ligamentum venosum arises from the left gastric artery. Here, a patient of the Left hepatic artery, as we see here, arises from the common hepatic artery, and the right hepatic artery is arises from the superior mesenteric artery. And here, another patient with the left hepatic artery arises from the arises from the common hepatic artery and the right hepatic artery is replaced arises from the superior mesenteric artery as we see here. Here another patient, the right and the left hepatic artery, right, left and right hepatic artery arises from the common hepatic artery and we have accessory left hepatic artery arises from the left gastric artery and a right accessory right gastric a right hepatic artery arises from the superior mesenteric artery as we see here in this example. Here another patient with the hepatic trunk arises from the superior mesenteric artery as we see here. Here, the left hepatic artery is arises from the common hepatic artery, as we see here, and the right hepatic artery is arises directly from the aorta, as we see here in the axial and sagittal reconstructed images. Portal venous variants. The standard portal venous anatomy consists of the main portal trunk, branches into the right and left portal vein, with the right portal vein subsequently dividing into anterior and the posterior branch. The variation, the most common one, it is a trifurcation of the portal vein. Posterior right posterior segment arises from the main portal vein, and the right anterior segment arises from the post left portal vein. Here, this is the sketch for the uh, for the variation of the portal venous system of the liver. This is the standard one in about 65 to 80 percent. And here the variation. Here patient with the uh, uh, CA rectum and metastasis to the subhepatic region of the uh, liver with a trifurcation of the portal portal vein. This is the posterior. This is the this is the anterior one, and this is the left one. 
And here, examples from the literature. This is the bifurcation of the portal system. And here, the posterior segment arises from the main portal vein, and the right anterior segment arises from the left portal vein. Hepatic vein variants. Accessory right hepatic vein. Accessory right inferior hepatic vein is the most common variation of the liver in about 48% of population. And it drains directly to the IVC, mainly segment six and segment seven. Variation of the hepatic vascular anatomy are particularly important in the setting of liver surgery and transplantation and radiological intervention. As we see here, inferior accessory right hepatic vein and middle right hepatic vein. As we see here in this patient, inferior accessory vein directly drained the, to the IVC. Another patient, inferior accessory vein and middle accessory vein directly drained to the IVC. Biliary variants, the standard biliary anatomy consists of the right uh, hepatic duct and left hepatic duct joining together to form the common hepatic duct. Access across over anomaly or trifurcation is important to recognize if a left hepatectomy is a blunt, since ligation of the variant duct can lead to atrophy of the segment, either segment six, seven, or segment five, eight of the liver. Ligation or resection of variant ducts, which may occur during the laparoscopic cholecystectomy or in the liver donor transplantation and lead to biliary structure and biliary leak. As we see here, the biliary variants in a sketch from the radiologic key. And here, this is a patient with the left posterior hepatic duct uh, drained to the left hepatic duct. And this patient has a trifurcation of the hepatic ducts, the right and the right posterior, right anterior, and left hepatic duct. And the, lastly, the CEDO region of the liver. The CEDO regions of the liver defined as a mass, like finding seen only in the imaging study without parenchymal changes. And CEDO regions of the liver usually due to third in flow, and it is seen around the gallbladder, uh, as we see here in this sketch, and in the posterior segment of the segment four, and around the falciform ligament. And this third in flow can result in pseudo region, either focal fatty infiltration or, or focal fatty sparing. As we see here around the gallbladder due to cholecystic vein, variant in the posterior segment of the uh, segment four due, due to aberrant right gastric vein, segment three due to aberrant left gastric vein, and around the uh, falciform ligament and anterior segment of uh, segment four due to vein of SABI. Here patient with ultrasound with uh, and on falciform ligament giving appearance of pseudo mass lesion. And here patient with, two patients with diffuse fatty infiltration with fatty sparing in the segment two or three due to aberrant left gastric vein. And here patient with focal fatty infiltration of segment four anteriorly due to uh, sabi vein, superior sabi vein. And here, two patients with uh, diffuse fatty infiltration and fatty sparing seen on the CT scan and ultrasound due to aberrant right gastric vein. 
and here patient with the focal fatty infiltration with in phase, out phase, and CT scan involving the posterior aspect of segment four. And here the patient with the diffuse fatty infiltration with fatty sparing around the gallbladder seen in the CT scan and ultrasound due to cholecystic vein between the gallbladder. In patient with superior vena cava obstruction, give rise to hot spot sign or quadrate lobe hot spot sign. And these collaterals are drained to the internal thoracic vein to the superficial thoracoabdominal veins and to the baroambilical vein through the superior vein of savvy. And we have differential diagnosis, hemangioma, hepatocellular carcinoma, and focal nodular hyperplasia. And this patient with superior vena cava obstruction with collaterals and the draining to the, to the internal thoracic vein with the, to the baroambilical vein, baroambilical vein through the superior vein of SABI, giving the appearance hot spot signs seen in the arterial view and it is not seen in the venous res of the liver. In conclusion, multi-detector CT scan and MRI imaging with MRCB with image post processing provide excellent delineation of the hepatic and vascular and biliary anatomy and CDO region relevant to the surgery. Knowledge of these variants is important in order to avoid misinterpretation when analyzing the images for pathologic finding, such as in neoplasm, and in order to anticipate and avoid possible surgical communication. These are my references. And thank you very much for listening. Subhanakallahumma wa bihamdika. Ashadu an la ilaha illa an. Astaghfiruka wa atubu ilaik.